tonight we all managed to get through um, Storm Pyrrhic I think it's Storm Pyrrhic at the moment we seem to get one every couple of days a new one good afternoon Hedwig Hoe gaat het met jij? Ben je goed? Uh, did I have a fun day? Um, not particularly. It's just another day. Unfortunately. Just another day. Um, all of my daughter's been round to see me. Casper, how are you doing? You okay, bud? Uh, no storm there. Bright blue skies and 25 degrees Celsius. What? That is insane. It's been warm here as well, but it's been very, very windy. Uh, loads of rain over the last couple of days as well. Um, been that way all weekend, has it? Wow. Kirsty, how are you doing? You okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's been very, very windy. Um, that's the main thing. To the point where the whole house has been shaking. Um, it just it sounds like a lorry is going past all the time. Uh, Steve, how are you doing, bud? Um, feel definitely feeling a bit better. Not completely better, but a bit better. I started the day off today. As most birthdays should, by pissing into a bottle then decanting that piss into a jar, then using a syringe to remove the piss from the jar, and then I put it in a bag to take over to the doctor, because I had to go and get my blood taken yesterday, and I had to go and take a piss sample in this morning. Uh, apparently my cholesterol is high, it's never been high in my life, but now it's high, and I've got to go back in. Have more bloods taken in a month's time on the tenth of May. Uh, and you never know if it's still bad. I might need to go on some kind of medication, which I don't really want to do. I don't like taking my medication at all. But you know. Um, no, it's... where is it? The tube. It's not life-size, this, but... Gives you an idea. It's a little tiny syringe. Absolutely no chance. Even the smallest of males would have no chance of doing that. So it was into a, a little beaker cup that they had, then syringe it out, put a stopper on it, snap the, the plunger off and take it in for them. Uh, hopefully my kidneys come back okay. I've not been drinking, so they should do. Should do. Um, yes, they missed the toilet, so no. Unless you sit down and treat yourself to a miss piss, uh, to a sheepy, at which point you're all right. I had to do that when I first came home because I couldn't stand up. 
and the first time I tried to go to the the toilet standing up, I pissed all over myself, which wasn't great. Wasn't great at all. You got vials that are vacuum and drawers the urine up when you put them on the cup, right? Um, probably because your health service is actually paid for. It's well financed. Ours isn't. I don't even know whether it's a doctor or so, or a piss fetishist. Got no idea. Could be either of them. Yeah, hopefully all the tests come back okay. Well, the fact that the cholesterol came back bad was not good. Mandy, how are you doing? Yeah, hello to you too. Yes, hello, hello, sorry. Uh, I'm slightly desiccated today. I was up early. Uh, the illness that I've had, I don't know, it was definitely, I thought it was a cold. And I was all right, but tired for the two weeks until I got to Friday. And I finished work at seven as normal. Uh, logged my computer off and just went and got on my bed and I was pretty much on and off on the bed for or on or in the bed for most of the weekend so I ended up missing the Everton game on Saturday another win that I've missed but I didn't wake up till 20 to 5 on Saturday absolutely wiped out completely and utterly wiped out no strength to do anything Uh, yeah, the lemp sips have been helping, but obviously at that point, uh, I don't know if it's a cold, something else, something underlying, but the doctor said my blood pressure was okay. The bloods have come back with that cholesterol, but apart from that, seems to be fairly good. So I just need to change me, I don't know, me diet a little bit, and hopefully... I'll be all right, hopefully. Yeah, win a game and lose two points seems to be the reason why they did it. It's ridiculous. Saf, how you doing, mate? How's things? Um, yeah, ball. Absolutely ridiculous what they've done. Uh, they wanted ten points. It was reduced to six. For the first one, and then he wanted was it five points, and it was reduced to two. Whereas, Notts Forest went over by double what Everton did over the two periods, and got four points. They're making it up as they go along. It's ridiculous. Fuckers. Uh, yeah. Feyenoord won 6 0 against Ajax. I've seen that. Uh, that's uh, in the Classica. Always hurts when you get beat by your local rivals. 6 0 must be absolutely killing Ajax fans. Um, ah, uh, yeah. Saf against Steve last night, wasn't it? In the um, the stream derby. Uh, did it end up 2-2 that last night? I was actually, I was glad that it ended up a draw. No good to either of you, but, you know, nice that you could share something. Uh, yeah. Uh, is everything working stream-wise? Mandy, we shall find out. It looked like it was, but I can't guarantee that it is. We will find out. If it, Yeah, don't ask, otherwise Jeff will get involved. We've got a few more flags, by the way. We've got the pirate flag. We've also got... Decided that Horace is a Japanese bear. So you've got Horace's face on the Japanese flag. Kippers on the Moldovan flag. Is he Moldovan? We don't know. I don't know if you can see it there. Jeff on the East Riding of Yorkshire flag because he's um he's a twat out of hull. 
direct from Hull. And then, if you can see that one, I don't know, the bowler hat with the skull and crossbones, but instead of the crossbones, it's the crossed umbrellas. That is very civil disobedience, which I think may, going forward, be a little bit of um, a sort of merchy logo. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. It's something that I've always thought, me and the lads, you all work together as uh, civil servants playing Call of Duty. I thought that would have been a perfect thing for it. And it, it took AI to be able to do that. But yeah, managed to get it sorted. So you might see that somewhere on merch in the, the future. Uh, got a bone to pick with Jeff. Jeff has caused all kinds of hassles. I think it's him who got me ill. Sure, that's what it is. Need a close up. Unfortunately, I'm not pressing buttons, but I could, couldn't I? I should do that in the future. I could actually, I could, but I'll have to do that for a future one. Uh, okay, let's let you back into your laptop. Jeff, Jeff, sort it out, man. Do ninjas follow the Nippon flag? They may well do. They may well do. It, um, it's definitely Horace who follows it. That would explain the haikus, yeah. How are Ruby and the missus doing? Good question. How are they, Steve? How is Ruby, Ruby, Ruby and Helen? Um, should it be Japanese? That is Japanese. That's old school Japanese. Old school Japanese. The school of old. The, the Japanese of the MASH era. Helen and Ruby say they're doing just fine. Happy days. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Always like to see people doing, or people and animals doing well. Oh, I have got no energy whatsoever. So we'll see how long it can last with this. But having no energy is better than being ill, I can tell you that. Um, and I thought I had all the time in the world. Genuinely thought I had all the time in the world to sort things out, but I didn't. I needed a nap earlier, but I couldn't have one because my daughter said she was coming round. That was at three o'clock. And then I had to pick her up at about six. So I could have had the nap in between there, but... You know, I have to take her home. My sister come round to see me as well. And then he ended up running round, making sure everything's all right with this. Touch wood, it's all right with this. It should be. I feel like I missed something. I don't know why. Uh, the colours today. Blue with a hint of red at the top. Just mixing it up, man. We're just mixing it up, you know what I mean? When you give up, it's been a long day. It has, it's been a very long day. At least yours didn't start with pissing in a cup. So be thankful. Or did it? I don't know, it might have done. Whatever tickles your pickle, girl. They went for a walk along the beach today, so sleepy now. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Um, I needed to get out. Genuinely, I should have got out because the infamous sea that doesn't come in has been coming in with a vengeance, apparently, at Southport. It's been very... The, the River Mersey has been very, very high as well when the tide comes in. At least you don't have a cat wanting to eat your new book, Yes. How is the new book? How is it going? And how is Lego? How is Lego getting on? You got Dagger Spell. That sounds very... Yeah. Very, you know what I mean? It just sounds very. Somebody asked you a question one minute before the stream started. Welcome to my world. 
like I was doing okay. He thinks he can still chase hares, but they outrun him easily. Do you know what? He's had his day chasing hares. The fact is, he still thinks he can do it, and he's still out there. So, good on Lago. Well done, mate. The book is interesting. That's half the battle, I think. <coughs> I had to read it twice. She thought it said dog a spell. We know this is an official dog in area, don't we? Big tides this week. I didn't see the, the pictures of Cornwall last weekend, but I know that gets battered, doesn't it? I mean, proper battered every time we have a, a storm coming in. <coughs> Where we are, it's normally okay because we've got Ireland taking the, the brunt of it from us. Uh, when Liverpool's getting battered, you know that Ireland's been battered as is Cornwall and South Wales. Hopefully North Wales wasn't too bad out, Mandy. I suppose that North Wales, you, the North Wales coast normally gets the same kind of um, weather that we get. But you're at a different angle, aren't you? Your friend is asking if you want to adopt one or two cats. You're worried it'll make Drakia too stressed. You never know, do you? You never know with animals. They might react in a fantastic way and be delighted that they've got someone to play with or you might just start thinking, no, this this is my this is my gaff, my rules. Not having it, not having it. Gingers crossed if you do take one or two, it'll be fine. Yeah, can't eat a whole one, but we'll try. Still got battered, right? So you imagine how bad if we're getting absolutely battered in Liverpool and Southport and you are in North Wales. Imagine how bad it was for the likes of Ireland where there's nothing in between then and where it's coming from. Horrific. Although I bet you it looked fantastic. If you could sit up on the, the cliffs just watching it happen. He's doing well now, he's alone. With your other cats still alive, he was always hiding. Since your other cat, he's much more affectious. But if it's a timid cat, it might work, right? Is that what your worry is? That he might go back into his shell? But if it's a nice chilled cat, stay as he is. Well, fingers crossed. They've got to feel comfortable, haven't they? All animals have got to feel comfortable to get the best out of them. Let's hope so, anyway. We haven't got any animals apart from the people that live here. My sister's got a couple of dogs. She got one, it seems like only a couple of years ago, but it must be a while ago now. Mad Frankie, absolute lunatic of a dog. Keep thinking that he's young and he'll grow out of this, you know, funny stage he's in. But she sent a picture of him the other day and he's got all grey round his muzzle. So he's proper old now. Still hasn't calmed down. Lunatic. Nobody can handle him at all apart from them two and our family here. He's great with us. So they had Mad Frankie and then they got two brothers, Bulldogs, twins. So of course with Mad Frankie they had Reggie and Ronnie. One of them died unfortunately. And the other one's a bit of a bully. Even though Frankie would absolutely tear it apart. Yeah, Mandy, good, 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 good idea. Give them a one-week trial period and see how they gel. And if they don't, yeah, if it doesn't work, the new cat has to move again. But you know, you've got to look after Drakia first and foremost. He was there first. Squatters' rights, man. Squatters' rights. 
Yeah, cats are easy pets. They do much themselves in order to walk four times a day. I am absolutely convinced cats, feline, feminine, cats are like women. Um, again, like you say, they can look after themselves. They're not stupid, streetwise. Dogs are like men. Literally just, they can be completely loyal as long as you feed them. And then if you throw a ball for them, they'll be happy for about seven days, you know. Just daft. You know what I Yeah, 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 yeah. Convinced. Convinced that's what it is. Jackson Galaxy, the cat guy. Is that his real name? Has he changed that on deed poll? So tips for introducing a new cat to your home if you already have one. There's got to be a certain way of doing it, I would think, wouldn't it? Right, so you're still considering how to be yeah. Be good though. A right, good point, Steve. Is Jow still with us? Has he chewed a live wire yet? It's mad the way animals do that and you think you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen if you keep on chewing through that. Bad juju use a foot man, bad juju use a foot. Lots of the car YouTube stuff lately. Finding barn finds. The rodents have always got into the engine and have been eating away at the uh, the wiring loom. Horrific. When you consider how many wires there are in a wiring loom for a car, just having a, a rodent, you know, nuzzling through a few of them. Pain in the ass. Joe still there, he's decided to change to a book at the moment. Is that for roughage? Is that what that is? Is he part goat? Goat will eat anything, won't he? Like those slended no goats. The ones that come down off the, um, was it the Great Home they were on, Mandy? You'll know, you're just down the road from them, aren't you? The Great Home. Just come down during lockdown and went, right, this is our town now, we own the shit. Going around eating everyone's flowers and what have you. Which reminds me, <laughs> me mate in um, Sweden, uh, uh, mum and dad, I've got a, a holiday home out in the country. Uh, and mum likes to grow flowers and put them on the windowsill. One morning, come out and there's an absolutely humongous moose just out there eating away with a couple of other smaller moose up the stairs looking what they could get. So they're just, they are crazy and they are absolutely enormous. I, I never thought how big a moose could be until she sent me pictures. What on earth is this thing? It's like a fat horse. Huge. Looked angry as well. Not moody, not angry, moody. Like it's pissed off with everything. Carrying around its own hat rack all day. Goats for free on Sicily. I wonder if there's m many Jamaicans who live on Sicily making curry goats out of the free free goats. I know, no clue with Joust, but he doesn't seem to like you paying attention to anything other than him. That sounds like a very, very male kind of thing as well, doesn't it? Showing off, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Yeah, maybe he needs a mate that's just as crazy. Good point, Hadavi, he does. Orm goats, apparently not uncommon. Saf's got one too. Never saw the Orm goats. I've been up the Orm. That's the great Orm. Um... What do you call it? A hill? There were sheep up there. We walked down. We got the train up there and walked down. There was loads of sheep. I never saw any goats. But they looked like they were just taking no shit. There's no one round. Who's going to stop us? 
chewing gum and spitting on the floor and things. You know what I like? Goats when they get in their, their element. Moose are huge. Yeah, I didn't realise. Genuinely didn't realise. I thought they were big, but I didn't realise they were as big as they are. I don't know what I thought they were. I don't know how big I thought they were. But I never thought they were fucking hummer-sized and just as angry. Is it an elk or a moose? Is that the same? Um, I don't know. Should we find out? I didn't check whether or not this works this week, by the way. I'll see if it goes up on the screen. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Enter. Window capture. Now. Oh, well, it was a thought that counts. Right, elk and moose belong to different subfamilies of deer, genetically very far apart and totally incompatible. Can an elk and a moose reproduce? That's that song, isn't it? There's a moose loose about this hoose. Can an elk and a moose reproduce? Oh, come on. What's the difference between a moose and an elk? Is it an elk? Is it a moose? If you're in Sweden, the answer is both. Right, so... It's a moose in North America, but it's a subspecies, and an elk in Europe. The North American... Elk in North America is used for a completely different type of animal, a kind of deer. So, yeah, the similar but different. I'm going to fucking close it, to be honest with you. Uh, you're on a smoke break, Saf. How was my birthday been? It has been. That's about it, really. Um, it started off with piss, and it's. Ended up with a stream, so streams at both end. Uh, yes, Steve, it is my birthday today. It's the balloon day, as they call it on Twitter. It's a tram up the arm. You sure you weren't on Snowden? It's tram, train, elk, moose, you know what I mean? It went up. It was definitely, definitely extended now, and it was definitely the arm. And it was the great arm, not a little one. Enjoyable. Love the place. So which one is the Eland? Oh, I don't know, what's an Eland? Uh, what, what is that? What's the genus of Eland? I think they're going to be um, African, aren't they, Eland? Spiral form, spiral horned antelope. Found in eastern southern Africa. There you go, yeah. So the one with the spiral horns that get their um, their asses bit off by lions and things. So if you're going to defend your goat to the very end like John Wick. Damn right, man. Google Translate gives both elk and moose as a translation because they're pretty much interchangeable by the sound of it. Some bloody big animals out there. Yes, yeah, so at least my day started pissing into a cup and not into bed. Thankfully. But again, we haven't finished the day yet, so you never know. I could block my copybook by that point. Was Olga riding it? Olga will ride anything. Well dodgy, you know what I mean? Steve did me ma cook my favourite tea. She didn't. Um, I've not eaten. I've been eating loads of fruit and nuts and things today. Obviously in a vain attempt to lower my cholesterol. Um, so I've been snacking on good things. I've got a pasta salad for when I finish. 
I need to start being a bit more careful with what I eat. I, eat. I thought getting rid of all the salt would be the the good thing to do. Obviously not. And thank you very much, Steve, for me happy birthday. Elans live in Scandinavia. They had a huge horse like the get drunk on apples. No, that's um, that's elk, not Eland. Eland's a little fuckers. Why is this not working? Hang on. Oh, that's why. Here we go. So press control to make this slightly bigger. There you go. Common Eland. That thing. African. Spiral horns. Not overly huge. Whereas the... Um, the elk, these things, they're the ones that get drunk in um, in Scandinavia. Yeah, they, they end up in trees, don't they? Get drunk and try and jump through trees and then end up getting stuck. The mad things. Yeah, Olga will ride it like a stolen bicycle, she will. Eat so much fruit and you pee all night. Or is that just you, Steve? Um, we'll try and find out. I have, I do get up quite a lot myself these days, because my bladder is the size of a walnut. But I was quite happy this morning when I had to get up. Um, I thought I'd have my first pee before I fill the um, the cup up, and it was a nice straw colour. You know, they keep going about a healthy colour is a light, a light straw colour. So I must be getting enough liquid, which will help me. I know that. In Dutch, it's called an Eland. An Eland, right? Very, very confusing. Very confusing. Yes, Kirsty, Jeff is everywhere. Jeff is all around us. Which reminds me. Of, uh, none of those misheard lyrics. Uh, mate of ours that used to come in the pub uh, got a son called, <laughs> called Lee, who um, was only, I don't know, must be five or six when Wet 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 did Love Is All Around Me. You know, like, it got, got to the top of the charts for like 16 weeks or something. And the next door neighbour was called Ronnie, and he was convinced that the, the thing was Love Is All A Ronnie. So for years, that's all we sang to him. Every time there's a karaoke, love is all a Ronnie. Uh, haven't heard of Olga in a while. Must be busy conquering Siberia. I do believe she is. She looks the type. I think we should get Olga involved in the stream at some point. See what she's up to. Not just Jeff. There's got to be someone else dangerous as well. Can't just be Horace with his chilled out haikus and Kipper's being a little bit naughty. Olga's got to come in and start fucking shit up. It's an Iland Italy loop. Ill -op, yep. Planning a visit to Florida. I'm convinced this Florida man thing. And the lunacy in Florida is caused by Jeff. Olga in Florida. Yeah. She will make a handbag and shoes out of alligators. Olga and Jeff are an awesome dating show. Ooh, you never know. We could possibly. The adventures of Olga and Jeff. Yeah, Kirsty, looking to kidnap some Florida men and turn them into something else. Yeah, Mandy nearly married a Florida fella. Yes, you did, didn't you? It was all close, it was all close. Excuse me. 
get notifications coming through. Hellish in Chaos. That sounds like my kind of book. Uh, your nieces used to sing the old Supreme classics, Stop in the Neighbourhood. Yeah. I must have told you I was delighted my daughter um, after being into One Direction and all that shit. She was sat there one day singing uh, Oh, I Heard It Through the Grapevine. Marvellous, bit of Marvin guy. And then she followed it up with accident, um, National Accident Helpline and I was devastated. She stole defeat from the jaws of victory. But she's gone on to have a decent taste in music. A handbag. Yeah, I wonder how James is doing. Is he still around? Do you reckon he's still in Kev's streams? He might be. It's mad how small the world is, despite being huge, isn't it, as well? Literally just... If you're into something, you can find it. Bang, in you go. And then start talking to people from all over the world. There's been a bit of weird shit happening on YouTube lately. What I've noticed. What I've noticed. Uh, there's a couple of big YouTube channels that have been moaning that they release similar kind of content all the time. One of them is Mentor Pilot. So it's all um, aviation themed videos. And he knows that he's going to get X amount of views or it's going to be like a certain curve. But then last week, normal views, normal views, and it stopped completely. As though it was just switched off. Whereas my stuff which gets no views, during that time, suddenly started getting loads more views. And I never get views in America at all. Never. All of a sudden, I started getting them. As though YouTube had started suggesting the wrong videos to the wrong people. That's why Mentor Pilot got no views and I got loads. Um, I don't think... I'm going to get many more watch hours out of it because it all seems to be short yet again. But all of a sudden, a short from six months ago was picking up another 2,000 views in the space of like a day and a half. It's very strange. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Yeah, James, James. We, do, we all keep finding each other in different streams, which you do. We're all into the same kind of stuff, so just suddenly you'd be watching something and a certain avatar will appear. Ah, here we go again. Yeah, over 7,000 subs. Just keeps jumping up, but it's all to do with shorts, which I don't get to watch hours for, but it is nice seeing that number next to your name. Like, would be nice to get to 10,000. I still won't be monetized, but it'd just be nice to see 10,000 next to your name. Uh, it's interesting anyway. 1,997 valid watch hours. For monetization pur uh, purposes anyway. The actual watch hours in the last 365 days. 2,553.8. So 560 watch hours has been through shorts little 15 second shorts it is mad the world's gone mad but that last week say last week was it last week around about the 5th and the 6th of april just weird getting loads of strange traffic from places i never do enjoyable though. They should do that more often, I think. Instead of just giving all the big channels the push that they don't actually need, go in and find some smaller channels. There's some fantastic channels that I've been looking at that have got like a couple of hundred subs, thinking they deserve a hell of a lot more. Just push them. There's definitely an audience out there for them. Congratulations. Thank you, Kirsty. How do you worse at watching 15 seconds shorts than watching 15 
minute videos. I'm the same myself. I like ones that you can put on and then just chill for a bit. Short, you've got to, it's like TikTok basically, isn't it? You've got to sit there constantly fucking scrolling, pain in the ass. Steve, you don't watch hardly anything now that you did last year. I'm starting to get that way as well myself. I think there's a tipping point with most most channels, unless it is something that you are genuinely really into. And again, I hugely into me cars, but there are one or two channels that I watched loads of last year, and I only watch the occasional video now because I've had enough of them. Same shit over and over again. Some of them are great, and he, no matter what they do, they're entertaining. Or they'll always find a good angle or a, you know, something completely different. But yeah, start finding different things. Watch loads of photography and cinematography things. I need to make long shorts. You mean like the uh, 1920s football shorts? I am wearing shorts at the moment, so yeah, I got me worried. Can you see under the desk? Even EB went and got a real job. Did he? I've not seen any of him at all. That's a strange. Just reminding me, I've not seen his face at all. All I have seen, right, and this is an absolute, I don't want to say a pain in the ass. or soul destroying. I watched, you know, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant uh, YouTuber and streamer. Uh, he, he's doing things about Twitch streamers at the moment and he did one about IRL streamers um, going round trying to get reactions from people. One of the ones he showed, the lad must have only been about 11 years of age, uh, walking past people eating out on the, uh, the sidewalk in America and he went and picked some of the food up and just walked off. Uh, trying to get a confrontation going so that you can get filmed. And it's all about streamers and ruining sort of the internet. But he also done one about Twitch streamers, all these women that are pushing the boundaries of what is acceptable on Twitch. And he sat there laughing. He won't show anything on the screen because it's getting banned on YouTube. But it's going, it's getting that bad. And ever since I watched that video, suggested is... Loads of see-through clothing tryouts. I, think, I, I don't want to watch this shite. But then looking at it and thinking, these are getting four or five million views. Again, stretching what is possible under the terms of service on YouTube. And they're getting absolutely tons of views. They must be getting advertising money through the wazoo. And yet you come on here and try and speak to people about going through an illness. And you don't get pushed anywhere at all. It's, it's mad, man. It's mad. Um, I'm wearing pants today. How do we? I am. I'm, I'm wearing shorts. Um, yeah. Because it wasn't cold today, even though it was raining and windy and horrible. Uh, I, I quite happily got up, and put me, me grey shorts on, to go to the doctors, and I've had them on all day since. Saw his face the other day, but can't remember on what stream. He's driving diggers and loving it. He's a male. I'm pretty sure every single one of us um, would love driving diggers for a living. Yet yeah, after Johnny Somali debacle in Japan was a nightmare. Yeah, he's uh, he's been mentioned in one of um, Moist Critical's videos as well. There was two or three of them that ended up getting arrested in Japan for doing what they've been doing it's ridiculous uh, there's also another one there's a younger one who's about 13 or 14 and he has got an absolutely huge minder with him so he'll wind people up and then this mind will stand in between them and he's still stood behind giving it loads filming it streaming it and making money on these live streams one of these days hopefully the minder will get sparked and this little shit will find out what comeuppance is yeah, all of a sudden you've got these 11 and 12 year olds who think this is the way you're supposed to behave um, to get clout on the internet. Fuckers. 
Uh, you thought I was wearing a kilt? I don't own a kilt. Any man looks better in a kilt. We can test this out, this theory. I don't think I would do, to be honest. Um, I'll have to find out whether we've got an actual tartan. Will the Ashcroft clan have a tartan? If not, it'll have to just be a yellow and greeny tartan. Just your opinion, Heather. Yeah, just your opinion. Kirsty's opinion too, definitely. We know this. Ali, how are you doing? Good to see you. I am feeling a bit better. Um, despite the fact that I was up early this morning pissing into a cup. Uh, apart from that, mustn't grumble. Slange, Yakida, and all that jazz. Seen a uh, TikTok video of people who are looking like they're practicing to stab someone. TikTok is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. I thought YouTube was. I mean, there's all kinds on YouTube, isn't there? But TikTok, within the space of two minutes, you have gone through every emotion possible, every human emotion. You don't have TikTok, Hedevich. You are not missing out on anything. It's all just like shorts. So if you're struggling with the shorts, you'll struggle with that. Saf levelled up. It's going up, 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 it's there. It's there. Thank you, Ali, thank you. Agula Breit, Shona Dwee. Is that close? Avoid TikTok at all costs. Uh, yeah. I'm on it, and I put me um, the little cut-down shorts that I, I get from the streams. I put them on YouTube shorts. I also stick them on TikTok, just as a way of sort of cross thing going, cross promoting. See if I can get more views on YouTube via tickers tockers. Not sure it's really worked to be honest. I think I've got a few more podcasty people out of it. La Briaha on a dit. That's exactly what I was thinking, Ali. Exactly what I was thinking. Everything's clicking. Everything's clicking. It's not good, is it? Lang sal je leven in de gloria. Hip hip hoera. Yes. I can hear you singing that now, actually. I can hear that in my head. I got a birthday wish off my daughter early hours this morning. Happy birthday, old man. Fantastic. Well done. Make me cry, why don't you? Cheeky little shit. After picking her up at five o'clock the other morning, when she was out in town. Terrible behaviour. Got a nice hug off her earlier on, though. I needed that, I think. It's been one of those days today where just a hug, just needed a hug, and she turned up. I say she turned up, I had to go and pick her up because her ma went out. So she was left at home alone. That's the best you can do, Hadavik. That is a fantastic thing, so I do appreciate that. Fails gelukkig. Lieve maatje, omdat ik via mag die heren jou zijn en nog bij jaren spa. Right. In fairness, at least she was honest. Thanks, Alia, thanks. Yes, at least she was honest. I am an exceptionally old man. I feel like an exceptionally old man.
I've been lots of tremor in as well the last couple of days. All down to the fatigue, I think. Not very good at all. Kirsty, thank you. In there with the traditional happy birthday, I like that. Uh, yes, I am older than she is, so to her, everyone's old. It's funny, um, I dropped her off in town, I forget what day it was now. She'd not even been 18 for a week and she was moaning about all these um, underages with the fake IDs in the car with her mates. You fucking hell, that was you last week, stop moaning. It'll be full of bloody underages. Yeah, happy Eid Mubarak. Is it tomorrow? Steve, you're the old man. Nah, mate. You're only as old as you feel. Which makes me about 108. Uh... Ali, it would be a bit weird if I was younger than her, but I do live in Southport and it has a reputation, or parts of it have a reputation for exactly that kind of thing. You know, a thing where um, I'd like you to meet my sister and my mum and my cousin. Where are they? Here she is, that kind of thing. 36 kids in a primary school, only two surnames. Banks, that's the place, north of Southport. Lots of it goes on. Pink skinned children with six fingers. Everyone's invited for lunch at Saf's tomorrow. 12.30 for one. Get the scran on that. Mandy's joining in as well. Pen Blueth, Hapasichi, I don't know, Aichi. Yes, unless he's the immoral jellyfish. I'm not immoral. How do we just want to be there, Saf? Fantastic. We'll have a party. Yeah, brilliant beings, those immortal jellyfish. To Norfolk saying that, yeah. I know, um, is it when Norwich score, there's high sixes all round. It's, uh, I'm sure that kind of suggestion goes on all over the country in little backwatery places like banks up the road. There is, there's not much there, not much you can do of an evening apart from roll your own. You know, the game the whole family can play. Apologies from Mandy, Saf. Tell your mum thanks for the invite from the one who knits. Yes, very conspiracy theory. Saf's catering for all kinds of dietary requirements. Lots of ale grey needed. Yeah, we'll be there in spirit. You spelt the word wrong. You did, but an immoral jellyfish sounds even worse than an immortal jellyfish. Lots of immorality going on. That could be key there to interesting discoveries. Plenty of it going round. Yep, shitting on your own doorstep is right, Steve. <laughs> Lots of that goes on. As I say, primary schools, they've only got one of two surnames. You're either a Hesketh or a Rimmer. Very strange. It's nice. It's a nice area. But, yeah, they're still pointing at the moon. They'll get electricity there next week, I think. No onions for Kirsty. Onions make her ill. You've got three types of tea and you bought some coffee beans. No idea if it's good or not. The company will make it good. That's the most important thing. 
Good tea, good coffee and shit company is shit. Good company makes anything taste better. Apart from me ma's kuchen. Me ma's got a, a black belt in kuchen. Kill anybody with one chop. Ours is the only house in the street where the bin bags have got ulcers. True story. Please say there's at least one Arnold Rimmer. There's loads of them. Slightly allergic. So no more cheese and onion crisps either. Right. Had a patient once whose first name was Rimmer. Poor guy, yeah. I have asked this before, haven't I? English surnames used to be what you did as a job. Thatcher, if you put roofs on houses. Baker, if you made bread. Cooper, if you made barrels. Where does the surname Rimmer come from? And who picked them? So the fella I had to deal with once whose name was Camel Deep. I was like, what were you, what were you, your dad getting up to for you to be called that? Fucking Camel Deep. I just grabbed the coffee bag that looked the most appealing. That works sometimes. I know, like you say, Mandy, it is like picking a horse in the race because you like the colour of the shirt. That does happen. You can't just give it one of them, dink, and the horse comes in. Such is fate, man. What's his surname? Growler. Dutch surnames too, or named after your father. Sen, Stra, and Ma. Where you where you're from. Yeah. Which is why you end up with things like Bergkamp. Fan the Fen and play yeah, things like that. From the And of course the famous one, Jan Fenachor of Hesselink. Which if I remember rightly is because the two families were of equal stature. So it's Jan Venegor or Hesseling. You can choose one or the other or both together. Strange. But to see his name on the back of a football shirt was stunning. Played for FC20 as well, obviously. Uh, yep. Yeah. So I can't say confidentiality. Say no more, say no more. Surnames of Baker are for a male and Baxter for a female Baker. Ah, I did not know that. Now we do. Now we do. Fantastic. Well done, Kirsty. Love learning stuff. Professional used to be a swear word into Victorian times for prostitutes, if you remember correctly. Right. So she's a professional. Ah, right. A lady of the night. Steve O. Normally put your national bet on the jockey in a yellow and green top, of which there will be, no doubt, quite a few. It seems to be a popular jockey colour, that, doesn't it? Is it a royal colour as well? Does the, I can't remember. Did the Queen's horses have that colour? Von Niekerk, Von Staden, Von Diemen, Von Weich are all common surnames in South Africa. Of course. Van Diemen, um, who went on to discover New Zealand, if I remember rightly. Yo, G. Jess is either saying hello to me or wants a yoghurt and can't fucking spell. Hello, Jess. Could they pronounce Fenachor? No. Venegor. It's about the best you're going to get out of people. I think someone told them it was off rather than of. So that worked. And the Hesselink, yeah, that's not too bad in an English um, 
phonetic speaking. Uh, Ali, what did you miss? You haven't missed anything really apart from apart from last names. Uh, we're talking about Jan Venegor of Hesselink, former footballer, uh, and where the surname Rimmer comes from. You're watching a programme about the history of surnames, but I can't remember most of it now. Um, that's the kind of thing that I love. Etymology of words. Absolutely love it. South about Ed de Hoy of Chelsea. It used to be called Ed de Goli. That was what his nickname was, Ed de Goli. Yet they couldn't say his name either. Uh, Rude Hullet used to be Rude Hullet. Um, the first one was Johnny Mechod. It was Met Hod. Because they thought that was better than struggling with the G. Or call him Met God. Yeah. Raymond van der Gaal. We've had loads of them, haven't we? Dennis van Wyk. Played for City in the 80s. Ah. That's not a name that's familiar to me either. And I was around. But mind you, if it was the early to mid 80s, I would have been over in the Netherlands at the time. Uh, Ali, yeah, I've added new items. I, uh, I've added new items to the wardrobe. There you go, Jeff. On an east riding of Hull, uh, of east, east riding of Yorkshire, because he's a twat out of Hull. We've got the uh, skull and crossbones pirate flag. Kippers on a Moldovan flag. We need to look into that a bit more. Horus on a Japanese rising sun. Uh, apparently, Horus is a Japanese bear. And then, that is going to be a little bit merchy going forward, I think. Instead of the skull and crossbones, he's wearing a bowler hat and it's crossed umbrellas. Uh, didn't Arbel Tasman discover New Zealand? Well, it was him or Van Diemen, wasn't it? Uh, I know New Zealand used to be called Van Diemen's Land. But they were all there, weren't they? Captain Cook, Tasman, Van Diemen. They're all there. All there, man. Uh, Mandy, you were pronouncing it gooey. Pronounce it how you want. You know what I mean? I'm sure they're quite happy picking up millions of pounds every second. Um, they should have asked me as a commentator. They should have done. I would rock that man. Jeff, put the kettle on. Uh, Hertz van higher. Yeah, I'm convinced that somewhere in the Dutch third division, the amateurs, there is someone called Hertz van Rental or Hertz van higher or White van Man. And also in Belgium, there's got to be a, an amateur player called Mamadou de Hump. I'm convinced. Congolese by birth. Done offspring karaoke parcel. I'm sure that's. Check his label like I'm watching footy. It's not, we're talking names, not footy. They just happen to. You know. Play footy. Uh, Higher and Hertz are not Dutch. Yeah, but Hertz van Rental. Or. Um, Salford van Higher. Just sounds a little bit touchy. Little bit touchy. That's why the slide is right. It's not footy though, is it? It's names. I must admit, I was getting a bit pissed off last night. I was watching um, mountaineering documentaries and hearing the names getting butchered by... I don't know whether or not it was an AI voice or someone who didn't know how to pronounce names, but I was getting annoyed. Very annoyed. 
Gerard instead of Gerhard, the German name, G-E-R-H-A-R-D-T. I think he pronounced his, or sorry, spelled his, Gerhard, it's not Gerard. Fucking Egypt. Still got a colleague from Ireland who says Hoor instead of Ur. A Hoor, of course, <laughs> over here means something different in Liverpool. Eee, look at it, fucking Hoor. Yours is a coffee. 